Okay, so in this lesson I want to show you how we can go ahead and extrude a polygon face along a NURBS curve. It's very useful because we have some interesting little tools that we can use and it's something that we weren't really able to do a number of versions ago in Maya. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a polygon cube. I'm just going to leave it as it is right now, standard cube. And I'm going to just come into a side view and I'm going to draw a curve using the EP curve tool. Just a simple curve, nothing too crazy. So what we can do now is I can come in here, I'm going to click on my cube and then right click and choose face. I'm going to sh uh, select that face, shift select my curve, and I'm going to come under my polygons. I can either do this by the menu and go to edit mesh and choose extrude, or come into my tabs up here and choose extrusion. And you'll notice that when I do that, I've now extruded my polygon, and it has created pretty much one face, followed by the four and, uh, for this simple one, and it's gone from the beginning of the curve directly to the end of the curve. Well, that's not going to cut it for me. What I need to do is I need to come, I can either use the sliders that are out here, or I can come over here into the channel box and I can up the number of divisions. And when I start to do this, it's going to make my polygon extrusion stick a lot closer to that curve. Now you'll notice here that, well, there are some problems. The, the faces are kind of crawling all over each other. That's because this curve in here, uh, there's not enough room for it to kind of navigate around. So I have one of a couple of choices here. I can either keep those divisions high, and I can come into my original cube, jump back out here. We can start uh, modeling, start moving these vertices out of the way on the original cube, and then come in and do the same across all of these, which is one option. I'm just going to undo that. We could also come into the curve and work on its points. Just go ahead out here and we'll choose our CVs and I can start moving these around which will then alter how this surface has been created, give us a little bit of a better look. Or we can come in and we could start messing around and playing with, under poly extrude face, we can start playing with the twisting and tapering. Now this isn't going to really fix if we need to keep this out here, but it is something interesting that we can do. It'll fix areas like this, not in the traditional sense of a fix of making it look better, but by tapering this down, we can get some interesting or neat little looks going on. Now you can see we can go up to 15 and we can go all the way down to zero. Obviously you can change and play around with those numbers manually or just use this trick by clicking on the name over here, middle mouse button clicking in here. And this will very quickly allow you to go ahead and create some neat, interesting shapes. Now, unlike when we did our NURBS one where we just had our circle that we can delete afterwards, here the cube that we originally came from is still going to be here. So we could come in now and delete the faces out if we didn't want that to be there anymore, or go in and modify it like we have before like we were doing just a couple of seconds ago in order to get this to be a shape closer to what we want. 